Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can factory reset Windows 11. Whether you have a Windows 11 laptop or a Windows 11 desktop, these tips are gonna work for you. Factory resetting your computer means that you're gonna wipe everything off it and this is critically important if you're gonna do things like give your computer away, you're gonna sell your computer or your computer is just not working properly and you're gonna wipe it back to factory settings. We're gonna go through a few simple tips and by the end of today's video, you'll be able to factory reset any Windows 11 device. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge the ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So today we're going to be resetting my Surface Laptop Studio back to factory setting. And there's a few simple steps we're going to go through. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to zoom into the screen here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the start button and we're going to go into our settings. And we're just going to go straight into our settings app. From here, in the top left hand corner, there's the option of search and we're just gonna type in reset. So just up here, we're typing the word reset and the first option that pops up is called reset this PC. We're gonna select on reset this PC and this is gonna bring us to the system recovery section. And this is where you can do things like run, run a diagnostic without fully resetting your computer or the second option from the top is reset this PC, which means you can choose to keep or remove all your files, then reinstall Windows. And we're simply gonna select on reset this PC. It's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask us if you wanna keep our files or remove everything. Keeping your files means that all the programs and files stored on your computer are gonna stay there, but it's gonna reset the operating system. In this video, we wanna delete everything and start from factory. So we're gonna choose the second option of remove everything, remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. We're gonna select on this one here. And now it's gonna take us to this section of additional settings. Here it says it's gonna currently remove the apps and files, but it's not gonna clean the drive. If you're selling or giving your computer away, I recommend going into the change settings options and you actually wanna turn clean data and turn that on. This is gonna take a lot longer, but it's gonna fully scrub and clean your hard drive so no one can actually go back and see what was stored on there even after it's been wiped. This computer isn't gonna be given away, so I'm gonna have this option turned off and then I'm just gonna go confirm. So it's gonna reconfirm that we're just gonna remove the apps and files, but we're not gonna clean the drive and then we're gonna go next. Next, it's gonna say plug your PC in. This isn't going to actually restart your computer until you plug it into charge. And this is because it may take a few hours and it wants to make sure you have continuous battery and it doesn't wanna die halfway through because then you may you know, do something bad to your computer. So we're gonna plug this in. It's gonna be connected to the charger in a second. And then it just says getting things ready. It says this won't take long and it just gives you a recap of everything you're gonna go through. We're gonna remove all the files, the settings, the programs, and we're gonna reinstall Windows from this device. And it's gonna say a few things like your PC is gonna keep restarting. Totally cool with that, we're gonna hit reset. Now it's gonna start preparing the drive and you just gotta basically leave your computer to sit and run and you've done it. You now reset your computer back to factory settings once this process is complete. You can see here it's now just preparing and resetting this PC. Let this run, it may take a couple of hours, maybe faster or slower depending on your computer, but you can see it's at 1%. You, as soon as it's at this 1%, you can't actually go back. If I tried to force reset this because I made a mistake, you actually can't turn it off and back on again. It's already in the resetting phase. So there you have it. It is that easy to factory reset your Windows 11 computer, whether it's a Windows 11 laptop or a Windows 11 desktop, back to factory settings. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.